There's a push for every nation on the globe to identify and number all of its citizens. Literally, uh, national ID cards with uh, radio frequency devices in them that can be used to track them and identify them at a distance. This is an RFID credit card. Um, there, there have been tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, of these issued. And the vast majority of people who are carrying them don't actually realize that there is RFID in them. It would be possible to put readers in doorways so that every doorway that you walk through would identify you right through the, the, the driver's license in your pocket. Develop a high power re reading system that can read EDLs and passport cards from potentially multiple miles away. If we really care about other people, about society, about our nation, about the world, we'd better take an interest in what's going on. Surveillance and tyranny, or surveillance and the loss of freedom, really go hand in hand. The people in Hitler's Germany and in Ceausescu's Romania never thought their freedoms could be squashed. One of the founding fathers said, you know, those who would trade liberty for security deserve neither. And the idea that maybe someone could put an RFID chip somewhere where I would just have to wave my arm. It's a very attractive proposition. If you want to keep track of your pets or children, livestock or possessions, you can now put ID tracking devices on them. So then you create microchips. What you're doing is suddenly, you know, we become the whim of the powerful people. They can punish us by pressing delete three times on the computer screen. Suddenly $10,000 turns into 10. Dollars. Then you go to press your hand to the reader and it says reject it. Sorry, you don't count. We, we, we won't allow you to participate. Incredibly, it was prophesied over 2,000 years ago. And he causeth all, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads, that no man could buy or sell except he had the mark, the name of the beast, or the number of his name. If you can control a person's ability to buy or sell, you can run their life. One of the problems when you create these technologies is, is it's like putting a noose around your neck. Evil people have this bizarre tendency to rise into positions of power and authority over others. They'll remove all the safeguards we put in place, and then we're just going to be sitting ducks.